Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. I had a wedding to go to so I thought I would just film myself getting ready basically and creating this look. So I've already started out by priming my face with the No Problem Primer. And I'm going in with my Inglot HD foundation in two shades. I'm going to mix 76 and 83 together. So I put two pumps of 83 and then one pump of 76. And I'm using my NYX number no. 3 buffer brush as always to apply my foundation. This foundation is really lovely in photos so it's especially good for weddings and special occasions anywhere you're going to get your photo taken. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Mocha and I'm going to take my Zoeva Petite Stippling Brush and apply it directly to that. I prefer doing this because it's easier to blend out rather than applying the stick directly to your skin and I'm just using this to contour all the usual places. So for concealer I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey and this has to be like my all time favourite concealer. I use it every single day but you get so much product in it so it lasts a really long time. I'm using this Real Techniques Buffer Brush with this concealer. I find that using this gives me a little bit more coverage. And using my all time favourite loose powder, I'm going to use RCMA and apply this with a dry beauty blender. And I'm only going to apply this underneath my eyes, kind of down the sides of my nose and a little bit my forehead, chin and just underneath that contour. And I immediately brush away all those areas apart from underneath the eyes. I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Deepest Dark or Dark Deepest. Can't remember, and I'm using this Morphe M527 brush just to bronze up my face. So now I'm going to use the MAC Sculpt Powder in the shade Sculpt, and I'm taking a Zoeva angled blusher brush for this, and I'm just kind of doing the hollows of my cheeks, my temples and my forehead. I go along each side of my nose as well and then I do underneath my jawline just to create a nice cool toned shadow. I'm going to take this Milani Luminoso blush with the Real Techniques Multitask brush and just do a little light layer of this. And I'm taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso and I've got a new way of doing my eyebrows so I thought I would film a little bit more of it. So basically I brush them all up and then I do try and make like a neat line underneath. And then I create little hair strokes all throughout the brow. I'm trying to make them look a little bit more fluffy recently. They are very, they're quite thin so it's kind of hard to do. But I basically just keep going in between brushing them up with the spoolie and going in and creating more hair strokes. going in with the Healthy Mix uh, Bourjois Concealer in the shade Dark and I'm just using this to conceal underneath my eyebrow just to tidy them up a little bit. I'm just using some random clear eyebrow gel that I found in my drawer. I haven't really been into them but I really want to start trying to be so if you have any recommendations please leave them down below. I'm just taking this peel eyeshadow out of the Morphe 35R palette and I'm just using this to set my eyelid for the shadows to go on top. 
using my Morphe R40 brush, I'm picking up this kind of cool toned brown and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So this is a shade Cork from MAC and I'm going to use my Sigma E35 brush just to apply this underneath the transition shade. It's just going to deepen up that uh, crease a little bit. I'm going to use this darker cool tone brown from the Morphe palette and I'm going to take this on a Zoeva brush. I can't remember the name of it but I'll leave it down below. And I'm just putting most of this on the outer corner of the eye and then slightly dragging it in right to the front. And then I'm just using that R40 brush with nothing else on it just to blend that all together. So I'm now using this Keiko Wet and Dry Eyeshadow in the shade 200. I'm going to spray this synthetic brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just using a synthetic brush to apply this over most of the eye, bringing it out over halfway. So this is Americano from Makeup Geek and I'm using the Sigma E45 Small Taper Blending Brush for this. This is really good for getting right in the outer V. So I'm just going to place it there and then bring it just right above where that shimmer shade is just to deepen the inner part of my eye as well. And then I'm just using a clean blending brush to blend the rest of it out. Using this purpley shimmer shade with a synthetic brush, I'm just going to place this right in the centre of the eye. And then I'm going to brush away all of that loose powder underneath the eye and bring the shades um, that I used above on my lower lash line. So that is the MAC Cork. And then I'm using that brown cool tone shade from the palette, the Morphe palette. And then I'm going in with Americano again just to deepen that lower lash line up. I'm using the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette and I'm going to take that blinding colour on the bottom right hand side and use a little detail shader brush just to apply this on the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Black Glide On Pencil to line my waterline with this. And then this is the Inglot Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. I really really like this. Um, I've been using it every time I need to do my eyeliner over gel. Because I'm going to a wedding, I want this eye look to look quite elegant, so I'm only doing a little small wing and I'm going to try and keep the eyeliner as thin as possible. I'm bringing it slightly in the inner corner to elongate my eyes as well. I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara just to do a little layer of mascara before I put my eyelashes on. As you can see I got mascara on my nose so I thought I would keep this in and show you how I get it off. So first of all I take like a spoolie once the mascara has dried and I just scrape it off. Take whatever's left on my foundation brush and then just bronze it up basically. My favourite part which is highlighter. I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Highlighter and my Inglot 4SS brush and just highlight my cheekbones, above my eyebrows my nose, cupid's bow and my chin and then my um, brow bone as well. I'm going to be really glowy today so I'm using my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and this is the NYX Suede Lip Pencil in Sandstorm and I'm going to line my lips with this. I'm using my Bowie Brown Lipstick in the shade Beige. This is a gorgeous lipstick, it feels so so nice on the lips. And I'm using these Lay Lashes in the style LLM07. These lashes are so pretty. And this is my favourite applicator, it's the MAC eyelash applicator. It is so easy to put your lashes on with this. And if you can't tell, I absolutely love this fake tan. It's one of the best fake tans I have ever used. It's from Be Perfect Cosmetics and mine's in the shade Watermelon. Like barely any smell at all. It goes on so easy, you can put it on like straight before you go out and it dries in like 10 seconds. It's so so good. And I got my jewellery from New Look by the way. And I'm just going to bronze up my chest and everything. And I'm highlighting of course my collarbone and my shoulder. And a little bit more on my face. And it's now time to take these pin curls out. I got a well needed cut and curly blow dry from Michelle International in Belfast. I was in severe need of a cut of my hair. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just filling in my hairline with a bit of a dark brown eyeshadow. And this is my favourite perfume to wear on a night out or if I'm going anywhere special. It's the Labo Santal 33. And this is the final look. This is my outfit and everything. I got my dress from Misguided and my shoes from Public Desire. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.